I miss Houston, and I was really fortunate to be able to work with the kids in English One over the summer with a grant through Ancestry.com to do a family tree quilt. And essentially what we did is we each did research on different members of the students' families, and then after talking to people, researching and talking about whether or not history does or does not repeat itself or how if we can learn from history and, and build from it, we took different family members of each student and focused on them. And then they had to research and do a biography on, this, uh, on the member of the family. They had to talk about the uh, different struggles that they went through and write a reflection paper to go along with their classroom quilt. So I, I basically supplied 13 by 13 paper and each student was given paper to work with and they had to write their biography on each uh, family member and then talk about what they learned. The students just learned a great deal about themselves and about others and just like with a quilt, when you take a quilt you take pieces of different memories or different experiences and you put them together for one big memory. And each student learned from the other students about different aspects of history and it really came alive for them. So this is something I hope to continue to do in the future. I found out a lot about my family. Um, my family name is Sowerby, where my whole family side was um, farming. And I found out a lot about my grandma Margaret and my grandpa William who is my, my granddad, my dad's dad, um, his parents. Uh, my granddad, he died last year, and so we had a hard time kind of figuring out things. And I enjoyed the class, I loved it. It was so fun, it made my summer a lot better. Everybody had a great time, and Miss Houston was a wonderful teacher. And Miss Houston always said, history is doomed to repeat itself, so if you don't know your history, you're, you're doomed to repeat it, basically. So I went on Ancestry.com and I found out a lot about my family, and I went back to 1886 with my, with one of my great, 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 great grandparents, uh, named Eliza Young. And basically, I did type a whole story on like how, like where she was born, where she lived, and things like you that. Know. And so she's real cool. And Ms. Houston is cool too. She's a very cool teacher. She's funny. <laughs> I had a lot of fun making this project and I found a lot of cool facts about my family, like how I came from France and, and that my middle name Reno came from 1640 from Renaud and then turned to Renaud or something I can barely uh, Great, 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 great grandpa or something like that was in the Civil War and I couldn't, I couldn't find very many pictures, but um, Miss Houston helped me a lot uh, with the project figure out who my great 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 grandfather is and he was like informed and stuff and I think this is like really cool because you get to go like far back because I went back to like what 1879 and if we would have more time I could have probably went like farther back than that and I really liked it and I liked this class and the system was like really nice and funny so